Hey guys, thought I'd show you what I got from high flow fuel for the Mercury outboard 90 horsepower. Mine's a 2011 four stroke 90. And here's what came in my kit for 220, which I put in the link in the previous video. This will be like part two of my video. But I got my a brand new low pressure pump and it is a wall bro. And that's obviously identical to my old one. That was the one that caused the fault. And then this one is obviously the high pressure. It's all nice and new. It's capped off nice and clean. The low pressure came with this booty that goes on there, which I already got in the seat. I got another one in the seal kit. But with this kit came the pressure regulator as well, the fuel pressure regulator. And then to clamp that on factory spec wise, I did order this crazy little teeny clamp from Mercury. It was like $6 and change. I think I got it on Amazon, but you can double check. But um, for the other clamp that I showed you, the, the Odiger clamps that goes on the side of this thing for the water jacket or the water cooling, I had the 15.7 millimeter. And I found that I could buy one for like $8, obviously because of shipping and stuff, or I could buy a 10 pack for like $6 and change. So I got a 10 pack and I can use them for future. And then the tool, apparently this is a decent tool. This, I don't know, how do you say it? Nipex or something? Nipex, German tool. This will crimp it. And this was like 15 bucks delivered. So not the end of the world there. And then I'll show you, oh, my float. I got the new float. And I don't know if this, this is supposedly an updated float. You can see the old one I showed you. I was testing it in the uh, video. But you can see the wires are different colors. It is made a little different. And uh, it's supposed to be updated now. The reason I went OEM was like 75 bucks, and I think I got this one from Great Lakes Skipper. They said the aftermarket ones, these little clips were breaking off. So that's why I went OEM, and I don't know, maybe they're probably all made by the same people, but you just got to be careful with it. So I just got that just so to, as insurance when I put this back together. And then the seal kit I bought OEM as well. And it includes, again, the low-pressure booty, the upper seal up here for one of the pumps uh, that must be the high pressure pump uh, no low pressure pump i guess on this side so i got that and then i got the seal for the case that i call it the binocular case the canister it goes in here i don't know if i needed it everything looks in pretty good shape but i didn't want to screw around for some reason they send you all new bolts now i'm not sure why but the other bolts look fine, but I'll put the new ones in. They got thread lock on them. Big deal, I guess. There's really no stress on this thing, so I don't see where it's going. But anyway, I'll put the new bolts in. And then I got the other seal for the high-pressure pump. And that obviously goes on this side, I think. Oh, no, this side. I got to double-check that. And then I got that little grommet thing that was torn on mine, so that's important. You can see mine was distorted and torn. See, it's torn. So that I'm glad I got that. So I think I'm ready to go. I'll let you know how I make out. Uh, I can't think of anything else that I got right now. So this thing should be factory spec. Hopefully this uh, solves my issues. If it doesn't, I'm going to pull my hair out. Anyway, good luck. I hope that helps. Um, I got links from the previous video as to where I got all this stuff and approximate prices. Talk to you later.